Let's go back to the app so that we can add details to the project using My Design Center. Going back to My Design Snap, it opens up to this page, and this time we want to use My Design Center, and again we're going to use the Snap Capture while the project is in the frame. So here we go. It tells us to have the exact same direction. So I'm going to grab our hoop off of the machine so that we can again put it down so that we can get the snap capture. It's going to be the same process as last time and we get the same instructions. My left hand doesn't work. And we're going to hold it flat. We're coming up from the hoop. The image was captured. The message says, send to the machine. You touch the message. It tells us it's sending. It says sent, and you simply touch the word OK. And it goes right back to the opening page of the app. OK, so back at your screen, simply touch it to wake up the screensaver if it engaged. And now we're going to go to My Design Center. And this time we need to wake it up because we want to work with this image that we brought in. So we're going to start with the fern up here. I call it the fern. Sorry, that's not what the instruction manual tells you. The icon just below the Wi-Fi. See, here's the Wi-Fi that's blue. We're going to go to the icon right below it. Simply touch that. And then this screen opens up. Now this tells you that the device is talking to the machine, and that's what we want. So you're going to come down here to the Wi-Fi icon here because we want to bring in the picture that was sent from your device. So touch this one and then you're going to have a list and the picture you took last is always the top one. So simply touch that and it will display over on the left side. And that's the one we just took. That's the one we want. You say set. It comes up onto your screen. There it is. That's what you have in your hoop. And then we can put it right on here if you like, just because that's out of your way. And you can tell exactly what you're working on. And now here are your My Design Center tools. So say you wanted to draw little petals in lines, details on that flower. You have tools to work with. Here is you can lighten and brighten your display. So here if I do this, you can see how that's much brighter for you to work with. You can tone it back down so you can see what you're drawing. And then you can actually use a pencil to draw lines. Now this is going to draw red lines. That wouldn't show very good here. So if I do the drawing here, then I can get a different color. So let's make it yellow because then you can see what you're drawing. And this will have you what thickness that you're going to work with. So we'll leave it at medium. That's fine. And then if you zoom in, you'll be able to do smaller details. Now, if you want to move around on your picture, then you move the red box here in your preview screen so you can actually zoom into the part where you want to see. So if that's the part of the red flower you want to draw, then you simply take your tool and you just draw where you want to put your details. And you can see where you're putting details on the flower. Now, obviously, if that's not what you want, you have undo. You can simply undo whatever you want to work with. And then you can come in and you actually do your precise little wonderful little details. And you can be as, as careful and as, you know, as pretty as you want to go. And then you want to go to a different area, you just move this box to the other part of the red flower or wherever it is that you're actually drawing. If you want to draw details within the petal, then you add the details this way. So see, you can see, add whatever you want to go to, and then just move your box and put in whatever you want to do. And you can do this all around your flower. Just keep moving your box, add more details, different flowers, and just keep adding anywhere you want to go. Add as many details as you like using all the tools of My Design Center that you're used to. When you're finished, you just conclude the same way you would exit out of My Design Center for any other time. Say next, make your changes if you'd like, say preview, say okay. It'll take you through the generation. Then you say set. You say OK because you're going to exit. You say OK because it's going to update and show you how it finishes off. 
you're going to go to embroidery it takes you to your embroidery screen and you just stitch it out to complete your project if you'd like more help this information is available for you online that you can look at it online or you can print it as i have it gives you more details on how to use the app if you're familiar with the playbook it is written in that style that has icons and words that you can follow through it'll give you more specific details of how to use the app in both the easy and advanced modes it has specifics for you that you can follow through it helps you with both line and illustration modes and so this will help you enjoy the app all the more.